Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do a Vintage Chic Sense haul. As you know, I really like Vintage Chic Sense. Kirby is amazing, and she just announced she's having a baby, which is so exciting. But anyway, let's just jump right into it because I have a lot to show you. This is two separate orders, so I'm going to show you the free samples first. So, the first free sample that I got was Mutter's Museums Odd Mutter Museums Oddities. Now, I make these little stickers with the scent descriptions on them for myself. They don't come like that, so just FYI. So this one is cornbread, yellow cake, and butter cookies. To me, I really get the cornbread in here. It's crazy. It smells sticky, like sticky cornbread with a little bit of that buttery note of the cookie. I really, really like this one. It smells so good. I'm so excited for these to cure. I let Vintage Cheek Scents cure for about six months to a year. I know it's a long time, but trust me, it's worth it. Her wax smells so good after that time. So strong. Next one is Snow White's Curse. Mac Apple, Lollipops, Bubblegum, and Cotton Candy Frosting. Both the samples this time I really, really liked. This one is a very, very sharp Mac Apple. Like, you can definitely smell it right off the bat. And then it's just like killer sweet tooth which is like the bubble gum lollipop cotton candy frosting but blended together makes it smell really really good <coughs> then on to what i ordered i ordered a few things and then i have a um mystery box so the first thing that i ordered was a four pack in backwoods barbie which is strawberry satsuma and cotton candy I love her four packs. They're the easiest for me to store, and they smell, well, they honestly smell different, but, and they're just really easy to use. Each one of these is like one melt, so pop it in your warmer and you're done. Backwoods Barbie is one of her most popular scents. I never got a chance to try it. Like I said, I'm newer to her company, so I made sure to get a four pack of this. Oh, and I just, I love it so much. It smells so good. Now, the um, mystery box for the open house exclusives that she had was out of stock which i was pretty upset about i got out of my cart so because of that i ended up getting two of the blossom bags in um backwoods barbie i knew i was gonna like it it's strawberry satsuma cotton candy satsuma is an amazing smell it reminds me of the body shop body butter it's like a really really fresh juicy orange so when i i knew i was gonna like it so i got a four pack and then i got two blossom bags which is just a variety of different wax shapes whoops really excited about that and then i also got over the rainbow which is rainbow sherbet and cotton candy i have this in a i had this as a sampler was mixed with strawberry but i don't never had it on its own it smells really good i can definitely smell the rainbow sherbet to me cotton candy just makes it sweet like i don't i could never detect straight up cotton candy but it just makes it really sweet and i love the purple and the yellow like I said, I just keep these six months to a year. So next summer, like summertime, it's going to be so good to melt. It's going to be so strong. I know some people are like, how do you wait that long? Well, I have enough wax. This one, there's no place like home. This is pumpkin pecan waffles type, which is a bath and body work scent. Now this, it's not that strong right now, which is surprising because the candle's super strong. But I know over time it will. So it's buttery, pumpkin-y nutty bakery smell it's really good but this will definitely sit and cure and smell amazing this one a charlie brown thanksgiving i knew i wanted this this was a little piece in my mystery box last month sweet potato pie toasted marshmallow sugar cookies and caramel cupcakes this just smells so good and i remember i had a thanksgiving candle from a yankee candle <coughs> sorry guys i'm sick um was sweet potato pie and it was just ugh, it was so gross blended with all these sweet notes is so good you can still smell the sweet potato pie but it just makes it sweet and smell just like thanksgiving so with a marshmallow it just smells like a sweet potato pie casserole so yummy so this will be melted next thanksgiving put it in all the warmers in the house i got another blossom bag in um coal miner's daughter which was blueberry muffin and cornbread i'll just pull out one of the pieces this is a little gray rose and it's equal on blueberry muffin and on cornbread the cornbread in there is like i said like in the sample very just pungent really 
you just smell the cornbread. Like, it's unique. And the blueberry muffin, you can definitely detect, like, a baked blueberry. This is going to be so nice next fall in the kitchen. Then I got two Blossom Squares. This one is Purple People Eater, which is grape and ginger ale. I love her ginger ale scent, Al Capone. Next time she makes that in a Blossom bag, I am stocking up. Ugh, and it smells so good. The grape is not medicinal like I thought it would be. It almost smells like, like a grape-flavored water. So it's like just the essence of grape and the extra bubble of the ginger ale. Really like that. And I like these Blossom Squares. I've melted... Um, one of them that I got, like, <clears throat> during the first restock, it wasn't completely cured yet, but I cut it into threes, <coughs> and it worked really well. I'm sorry, guys, that I'm sick, but, like, I needed to film this and put this stuff away, because I have boxes everywhere. And then I got Burton Ernie, which is Satsuma Orange Whip, Blueberries, and Lemon Fizz. I'm all about fizz, and I'm all about Satsuma, so I knew I would love this. And I do. It's a pretty blue color. It's just... Fruity fizz, like super fruity, super fizzy, really yummy. It's going to be great for the summertime. What I love about melts is I love burning candles. I mean, it's my favorite thing. I love burning candles. But in, like, the summer, I don't always burn candles a whole lot. And when I'm, like, busy, I if I work, <clears throat> if I, for example, work, like, 12 to 7, like, a mid-shift at work, I don't have time to burn a candle in the morning or at night, so turn on the warmer as soon as I get up, leave it on all night, so, and all day, and it just smells great all day. The next is a sampler. It is the So Fresh, So Clean sampler. So these are all, like, fresh, clean scents, which I was excited about because I don't really have any uh, Vintage Chic scents, clean scents. Happy Days on Cape Cod, Apple Mango Tango, Clean Cotton, Salty Sea Spray, Weather Driftwood, and Water Lily. Now, I've smelled everything previously. I did not smell the sampler yet. <coughs> to me, it's very descriptive. This smells like the basement when laundry was just washed and put away. So it smells watery with the fuzz <laughs> and the fabric softener. I really like that. That's really good. Mm. These are going to be so good for, like, the spring or to melt. I never melted in the laundry room before, but I have a warmer that I'm thinking about putting down there because I don't really love the way it looks. So sticking it in the laundry room would be really nice. Next is All I Do is Dream of You, Lavender, Coconut, and Sandalwood. I love sandalwood, so I figured I'm going to like this. Oh, I do. So to me, this smells like a very calming lavender. The sandalwood and the coconut really mellows down the lavender a lot. Because sometimes lavender can be extremely strong, but not in this. Not in this at all. It smells really like a calm scent. It's really cool. I like these. I knew I was going to like this um, variety. Just Singing in the Rain is the next one. This is Fresh Water, Falling Rain, and Shimmering Blue Lagoons. Now, like I said, I haven't smelled any, but I feel like this is going to be my favorite. <coughs> Ooh. This smells exactly like a Yankee Candle, and I can't think of what it is. I almost want to say it was blue. Was it cold, fresh rain? It's not Stormwatch. Oh, that's going to bother me. It's like a... It's like a watery men's cologne without being like men's cologne, if you know what I'm saying. It's like a man could wear this as a cologne, but it wouldn't necessarily be like that. That, like, um, how do I want to describe it? Not as, um, not as pungent, like, or as a traditional men's cologne, like you would think. Next is Bond, James Bond. Shaving cream and Burberry Brit type. Now, I love her shaving cream scents, but I don't love cologne scents. So that's why I'm like, mmm, what am I going to like this? <coughs> this just smells like a man who just shaved and put aftershave on. So shaving cream and cologne. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's nothing that I would ever stock up on. Just like Old Sport. Like, I thought I was really going to like Old Sport, but I don't really love it that much. 
next one is Baby Boom, which is baby magic type. I'm not, whoops. I hate when my computer goes to sleep like this because then I can't see what I'm doing. There you go. So this, oh, it smells like baby powder. Oh, like straight up baby powder. Oh, I don't like that. <coughs> oh, I don't like that. I guess baby magic is like baby powder. I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like baby powder smell. This one is baby. It's cold outside. Juniper, sage, and eucalyptus. It says sweater weather. Sweater weather type. I love that candle from Bath and Butter Ricks. Mm, this doesn't smell like that to me. To be honest, I don't really know exactly what this smells like. Doesn't smell like the candle, though. Unless it's been that long and I don't remember what it smells like, but to me, this doesn't smell like that. It just smells like... I hate to say this, but it just smells like a cheap, fresh candle. Like, it doesn't smell like anything to me. This was just poured October 5th, so three weeks ago so maybe it still needs time to cure but i don't get a whole lot of that out of that and sweater weather is sweater sweater weather is such a good smell this one is creature from the black lagoon which is amazon rainforest and salty sea air i think i'm gonna like this oh and i do this okay this smells very similar <coughs> to the just singing in the rain to me not identical this is a little bit more watery than that one. Oh, but i like it i like that one a lot three more in this sample this one is irma's clothesline now i have this in a sample lavender vanilla and clean cotton but i don't 100 percent remember oh yeah it's like this is like a yankee candle clean cotton was a yankee candle scent with like lavender so like fresh laundry hanging in a lavender field if that makes sense it should <laughs> this one is a pod people this was one of the first scents i ever bought from kirby like years ago like 2014 was it or 13 <coughs> i'm so sorry guys this is cactus and sea salt I love this. I love this one so much. I wish you would bring this back in a baggie, or a, a, like a uh, or a um, unicorn loaf, because I would stock up. This is just like a perfect blend of fresh, and but it's also like a sweet fresh. I really like that. And last is beach bombshell, which is bright citrus, coconut lotion, and sea salt. Which sounds interesting to me. I feel like I'm gonna like this. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. It's way too coconutty for me. Not enough citrus. This was also poured in October, so let's let this sit. It's really a pretty color though. It's like pink and blue, but sponsored by Diet Coke. No, it's not. But yeah, I mean it's not bad. I don't love it. But we'll see. So there's that one. So that's everything that I ordered, and then I also oh no it's not. One more thing. I also ordered a loaf in Central Park Snow Globe. I got one uh, piece of this, a rose. Love it. It's peppermint cream vanilla bean noel. So it's just like a sweet peppermint version of vanilla bean noel. So good. Great when you're sick. I love peppermint scents when I'm sick. I'm sick right now. I actually have uh, Sweeney's Barber Shop, which, as you know, is my favorite. It's uh, shaving cream, strawberry mint shaving cream. But her unicorn loaves are poured in a mass quantity. All they have is glitter on them. So normally, if it's a popular scent and you want it and it's in a unicorn loaf, chances are if you get there when the restock starts, you're going to get it. It normally doesn't sell out that quick. I mean, it sells out quick, but not that quick. So my mystery box, I got a loaf in Sanderson Sisters, which I already have a loaf of this that I bought last month. But this is green apple, caramel, candy corn, and marshmallow. Don't have a problem having another one. I love the way this smells. Super caramely. Super green apple -y, Really sweet. Really good. <coughs> Probably the standout of this mystery box is this Canyon Ranch. Holy crap is this good. 
This is sugar, cucumber, and fresh mint leaves. And I'm so glad I got this in a bag in my mystery box and not just like a single because this is so good. It is so fresh. Like, I feel like this scent could have been in the So Fresh, So Clean sampler. The cucumber hits you right away, but it's not like vegetable-y cucumber. It's just like fresh cucumber, like a cucumber melon scent from uh, Bath and Body Works with... I don't even want to say the mint leaf is strong in this because it's not. It's not like mint like peppermint. It's just like green. I really, really like this one, you guys. This is definitely a standout. So I'm really excited that I got my hands on this. That's awesome. So now onto singles. Well, sort of singles. This one is Tootsie's. Got two of these. Passion, Melon, and Pina Colada. I just smell like Pina Colada. I don't smell the melons or anything in this, I just smell pina colada. Not too thrilled on this one, but I mean, I'll melt it, obviously. I'm just like putting these away as I go, because I have so many. This one is Fezziwig's Christmas Party. Blue Spruce Balsam Fur Warm Spiced Cider. Or Warm Spice and Cedar, I think. I might have typed that wrong. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um... This just smells like a sweet Christmas tree. Almost like a sugar spruce type of smell. I like it. This is the Fillmore. Which is sugared elderflower, champagne, and lemon. And I know Notorious Liz really likes this scent. So I was really excited to see that I got one. It's so good. It's so fizzy. So, like, just fresh with the lemon. But not... It doesn't border on Pledge. Which is obviously a plus, because I don't want my house to smell like Pledge, necessarily. I want it to smell fresh and clean. Not like Pledge. This one, Cookie Monster Loves Jackie O. So it is sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, and sugar milk, mixed with marshmallow, birthday cake, vanilla bean, Noel. This is literally just sugar high. Like, sugar high in cookies. Mm, but it's so good. For some reason, I feel like I already have one of these. I'll have to look. Then another backwoods Barbie, Satsuma Strawberry Cotton Candy, Evenings with Grandpa, Butterscotch Candies, Pumpkin Cream Cheese Frosting, and Zucchini Bread. I like this, so it smells like baked goods and butterscotch. I really pick up on the butterscotch mostly in this, but it also has like the zucchini element. And then last, but not least, is Holidays with Audrey. Which is marshmallow, pumpkin cake, pie crust, and sweet milk. Also really like this scent. It's like... It's like pumpkin-y, but I wouldn't classify this as like a pumpkin scent. It has more depth to it. It's more like... like I wouldn't find the smell at Bath & Body Works. It's really good, though. So, I know that was quick, but I had a lot to talk about. And I just did a quick little snippets each one. That was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited to put this stuff away. And let it sit and cure. That's the fun part, right? Okay, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.